So you mean to tell me you put 40 hours into this, the same 40 hours that you put into your job? I don't put 40 hours into this. What do you do? I probably put like 100, honestly. Mm, yeah. With that, while no you at work? Yeah. I, like when I'm working, since it's an interrogation, but what, since I'm working, it's I'm not. editing. No, it's fine. What you mean it ain't a f interrogation? You just asked 10 straight questions. I'm going to just have to, I'm going to have to bleep it out anyway because they cussing too. God damn. Isn't that an interrogation? You just asked 10, 20, you just asked 21 questions in five seconds. You mean the disrespect, bro? Like, I swear, bro. Like, he couldn't, he couldn't, he can't even give his response out to the other chick because you too busy interrogating him. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. Before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. On the road to 1,000 subs, baby. Let's get it. All right, so if you're new to the platform, please subscribe. And if you're OG, I appreciate the love and support. Now let's go ahead and jump into it today. Oh my God, I'm going to be reacting. Uh, I've been meaning to get to this for a while, bro. Like, it's this new um, podcast. I think it's called J Hill Network or Mr. J Neil Network. And he had these two ladies on. And when I tell you, like, this is the epitome of why so many women, especially black women, are single. Like, like the level of, of entitlement is over 9,000. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. He really may not be a man's man because he said his girl got him smoking. So you like to be what? initiated. You're not the initiator. What? what? Yeah. Because my girl got me smoking. So I'm saying like you like to, what you like to follow. You, not, you don't like to lead. No, I'm just, I'm very um, comfortable in who I am. True. Honestly. I like that, Jay. Uh, that's make, that what makes me more of a man's man Any, if, if you want to be technical. Yeah, because I wish I could tell my what to do and he listen. Bruh. How dare you? Nope. What? Do you believe how dumb you look right now? You look so dumb. <laughs> you look so stupid. You must unlearn what you have learned. Get the French toast out of here. Like, I just want to know, like, ladies, like, to, I'm like, to the women that be watching my channel, I'm like, do y'all think that's cute? I just want to know, like, why don't y'all just get a beta? Seriously, just get a beta and be happy. And he'll probably be a little bit boring or whatever the case may be. But if that's all you care, let's just keep it moving, man. Let's just keep it moving. I, I, I want to see. I, I want to see how far she goes. Damn, that's, that's unfortunate. That's because you want a maid, not a man. But he's a maid. He's a maid. You say he listen. I'm a maid. He's not a I maid. Listen. You said. You what like makes you a maid? What the hell is wrong with this chick? Just because he listens to his girl, that makes him a maid? See, th this is exactly what I'm talking about. Like, like, am I the only one confused? Like, if any anybody else is watching this, am I the only one confused? I can't be the only one confused. What the? Okay, so basically what you're trying to say is, is that if I listen to you, that makes me weak. That makes me beta, man. I'm sensing a lot of masculine and dark energy, man, from that chick. I don't know what the other chick on, but ooh, this chick right here, man. Let's keep it moving. I, 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 mm. I don't know. That's this word. What makes you? What's makes my me? What Trishana's looking for? Yeah. Okay, my friend. Trishana Hill is looking for a man to come when she's out working all day like today mm -hmm. when she goes home she want him to be sitting there on the bed dick out ready to rub her feet with some oil maybe have cooked for her um fuck her good after she gets fucked she want to lay back down get rubbed on talk about her day she want to go to sleep before him him watch her sleep to make sure nobody comes in the house <laughs> to get her mm. and then and, and when he can go to sleep is when she wakes up to go back to work so let me ask you something <laughs> are you you, you want to pay for that 
if she's know. willing to pay, I am. not him per se, but when Where the comes, camera at? We're hiring right now. For a man? For a man. Hiring right now to do everything that they said the following and she's hiring we will negotiate the price. Yeah. She'll mm. pay for that. Full day. time required. So you, nope. And this is exactly why they end up with Pookie and Ray Ray's. And y'all end up having babies with dudes that ain't worth a damn because those are the only dudes that y'all can deal with because any man that's on y'all level or higher ain't going to deal with y'all because you coming with all this masculine energy right here. What real man is going to want to deal with that? If you just want to be the man in the relationship, just say that. Seriously, like what? And these women wonder why they single. Like, do you not see how that doesn't work? What is wrong with these chicks, y'all? Like, this. <laughs> Ooh. And I'm going to keep it a buck with you, bro. I see this from black. I see this kind of energy and attitude from black women more than any other race. So, ladies, you really, especially y'all, especially the black women, y'all really can't be mad if men are not attracted to this. You know what I mean? You, in order for you to get what you want, in order, any woman that wants those kind of qualities out of a man, she's gonna have to, she's gonna have to get a guy that's, that's feminine. And I'm gonna tell you right now, that is gonna be a turn off. Because it's only a matter of time before she ends up cheating on that man. Or she gonna end up leaving him for somebody more masculine. And then she gonna be salty because that dude that's masculine is gonna treat her the way she was treating the, the beta. Yep. Like see how that comes all full circle? That's why these women stay single. Because y'all think y'all can play the masculine role and then get with a beta and then biology, biology and hypergamy takes over and then next thing you know you find yourself not wanting to be with this guy anymore and you end up either leaving him or you cheating on him. Or both. She belongs to the streets. And then the first thing they do is turn turn around and blame and point the finger and blame us and say it's all men's fault. Typical. Let's keep it moving. I'm going to pay for that dick. You know. Save them. All right, so let save me. Save them and throw them back. Save. If I'm requiring that much out of you, I will take you from your job. And when I'm done, job? With you, I'll take you back to your job. So wait, we already said you can't, you can't deal with a guy that got a job? Do you have a job, Jay? Yes. Okay, why well, can't I deal with you? The reason why I cannot deal with <laughs> you. <laughs> no. Oh, man. We got another one, man. We got another one. I had hope for her, man. The way she was calling Shorty out, the other girl out, I had hope for her. But, man, she <laughs> she right along with her, bro. She's just on the other side of the spectrum. She She's the more um, typical um, modern-day woman. You know what I mean? Let's see where she going to go. She said it as a, like... It was like an option. Like, no, it's not an option. And that's what I was going to say. With respect to your girlfriend. That's not, that's not what she's I She's not going to take it personally. Yeah, don't, I can't think about it if got a job either. That's why I said I would. Why I don't not, want though? nobody with a job. Because Cause if, if we want to go to Jamaica yeah. to see your girl's family, and, you can't because you got to tell your... When it comes, but you can't tell them, like, oh, I got to go to Jamaica tomorrow. True. Like, you I don't gotta, have to. No, but when it so comes... So you could just leave your job. I mean... Anytime, like right, like you told us we had to push the time back because you didn't get off work till a certain time. Like that yeah. already is like a hassle. Okay. No, but that's a red flag. for me, no, not it's flag. not a red flag. But sound like a red flag to me. That's what killed me about these women, man. It's I don't think I don't I, I genuinely don't think modern women understand how money works. Like. In order for a man to make a really good living, especially what you seem to require, because I can see already she, yeah, you know I mean, she's trying to live a certain particular lifestyle. I mean, you see the jewelry she got on, like that's very telling. Oh, man. I, I don't, I don't know, man. Let's let's. It's like I don't think women realize that most men don't hit their financial stride till they get in their forties and fifties. In order to have that kind of freedom to just do it, to just come and go as they please. And if they are able to do it at a younger age, you think they're going to settle for you? 
when they're younger, nope. making that kind of money, and they could just have, and they're 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 even more rare. Yep. You know what I mean? A guy making six, seven figures in his twenties or his thirties is far more rare than a guy making six or seven figures in his forties or fifties. Look up the numbers. Like this, this, this. Like I'm not just saying this. I'm not just pulling stats up my ass. This is real talk. Women need to understand this. Like they, women don't really understand money. They don't understand the value of money. That's why eighty percent of the, a, 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 a consumer debt and consumer um, spending is held by them. Meanwhile, men have always been better at saving and investing. That's why there's typically always been. That's why there's typically always going to be more wealthier men than there are women because women spend money more than men. Men are just smarter with money. Let's keep it moving. For me personally, because I know when a lot of people say, oh, I can't date a man with a job, a lot of people on the internet take it to offense. But me. You want to know why? Because only about 10 to 20 percent of people make six figures or more. I think it's, I think it's 10 percent. I'm, I'm going to have to keep looking at it. I think it's 10 percent. But I'm just saying, like, because most people have jobs. So why would you not think people would get an attitude about that? See, this is what I mean. Like. These women, like they, they, they make like the most disingenuous points, and it just comes from a place of bad faith. And they, like I said, man, they, just, they don't understand the value of money and what it takes to really get it. Because let's keep it a buck. Y'all probably got it easy just off of aesthetics alone, like. Y'all probably, y'all, I'm pretty sure y'all ain't out here grinding like homie, like homie is that on podcast y'all on. He got this podcast going on and he's working a job. I'm working a job and, 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 and I, and I started this channel. You know what I mean? That's not, that's not including that I'm going to the gym five times a week. You know what I mean? Making sure I'm getting my meals in. Like, come on, bro. Like this. I'm like hell, shit. I'm looking for a set. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm looking for a second job. I'm like, I'm just having a hard time finding something I can fit into my schedule because, yeah, you know I mean, because everything else I mentioned. You know what I mean? You only got so many hours in the day. I'm like, but when women don't understand that, let's keep it moving. Mm -hmm. Destiny cannot mm -hmm. date a man with a job one because I'm very spontaneous and I need wait, 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 Jay, before you get to leaning back and breaking the chair. What I'm saying is, and I also need a man to understand where I'm at in the moment that I'm at. Like, I probably will have a week where I work so much, and then I have a week where I don't work at all. You get what I'm saying? So as an entrepreneur, it's like, it's very up and down, and mm -hmm. I just want somebody to understand the mental state that I'm in. Sometimes I get really, really depressed because I always have to show up for people. Mm -hmm. So then I'll be like, I, I want a man to be there to comfort me during that moment. I just feel like a So man. you want a maid, too? I don't want a maid. I want a man. We not the same. Bro. It sounds like you want to be there too. No, I don't. It's different, fam. With all due respect, because you can call me like so many names, I can say this. With all due respect. Yeah, for real. You've been, y'all, like, both of y'all been like low key sneak this and like the. Like, I'm like, see, this is why we're going to miss Kevin Samuels, because Kevin Samuels would have called that out ASAP. He would have called that out ASAP. That's why women didn't like Kevin Samuels. Because whenever y'all tried to get slick, try to slick talk him, he called that. He called it out ASAP, and they ain't like it. Let's keep it moving. Oh, he, oh, he about to get it off his chest. Get it off your chest, Jay. Spit it out. Say it with your chest. Back to the wall. That is just, it's just, it's just. Say what you, you gotta, mean. I'm gonna I tell got you it. Because just because a, a guy has a job doesn't mean that he can't understand the things that you're going through. Okay. Just because a guy has a job doesn't mean he's not an entrepreneur. Mm. Um. And since we're talking, since we're here, yeah. right? This is my first time ever having a, a corporate job. But mm -hmm. you, if you don't get really, past what made the, you to, what made you go to the job? Um, to support my lifestyle because uh, my passion isn't um, paying for the type of life I want. And I'm and the I'm type happy of, that you have a passion. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm the type of person that's going to get it no matter what. Mm -hmm. But so before that, right? Yes. I mean, yeah, podcast. Mm -hmm. so I, just, you, I have three so jobs. So you work to pay for this? Yeah. So instead Absolutely. of doing this full time and reaching out for like sponsorships and all that, you go to work. You think I don't do this full time? No, I'm just asking. I do this full time. So then what time do you go to work? Uh, I go to work around like 8 in the morning. What time do you get up? 
depends. Four or five, but I'm okay. I'm then what doing, time do you start podcasting? Probably eight in the morning. And then what time do you start? Wait, you start podcasting at eight in the morning, eight at night. I have to edit. I have, oh, to, true, 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 I have true. to reach out to sponsors. But so what time do you come here? And then what time do you stop? I come here whenever I need to. Okay, so what time? Whenever I need to. What time? Today is that? could be six. Tomorrow could be four. Okay, and what time do you end? I don't honestly. So what time are you leaving here tonight? So you mean to tell me you put forty hours into this? The same forty hours that you put into your job? I don't put forty hours into this. What do you do? I probably put like a hundred. Honestly, mm, yeah. what that? Why no you cap. at work? Yeah, I like when I'm working. Since it's an interrogation, but what, since I'm working, it's I'm not. editing. No, it's fine. What you mean it ain't a interrogation? You just asked ten straight questions. I'm gonna just have to. I'm gonna have to bleep it out anyway because they cussing too. God damn! It's not an interrogation. You just asked ten twenty. You just asked twenty one questions in five seconds. You mean the disrespect, bro? Like I swear, bro. Like he could, he could, he can't even give his response out to the other chick because you too busy interrogating him. What he's saying ain't even directed towards you directly. He over here responding to her first. I swear, bro. These women ridiculous. I'm editing. I'm uh, on phone calls. I'm emailing people to get guests. Uh, I think I probably reach out to y'all and talk to y'all while I was working, mm -hmm. but I'm still working this job. But I say to the say. Back to you. I don't. I don't fault because you can have your own opinion. You can True. have your own preference. But what True. I would say is, I feel like when when you say that you can't date a guy with a job, you don't really get to know his his background, right? Like like this is my first time having a job, right? I could be a hundred percent entrepreneur, right, or somebody else, and you miss that. But go ahead. I like and this that. is what I would I like say. That. Thank you. You know, respect the man's man. Respect the mic. Respect the man. True. Respect the mic and respect the man. What I can say is. Everybody is not equal and everybody is not made the same. So everything is not for everybody. And I respect you having a job to fund your passion. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I scam to fund mine. And Show then me. I let we'll this... be done. <laughs> no, no, no. I told <laughs> God bad, I would never no. I told God I would never scam again if he just showed oh, so you me just something lied. else. Oh, okay, okay. Go ahead. I I didn't lie to God. I don't lie to God. No, you just lied to me. I said I scammed. Oh, what he did? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. I said I scammed apologize. to fund my passion. Do you mm -hmm. hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I respect you for doing something to fund your passion because that could be temporary. You know, having a job for you could be temporary. That that might not be what you see for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. But just to take that time to sacrifice to do that to fund a passion like this in a few years, this shit might blow up, which I think it will blow up. Mm -hmm. But for the person who I am in the space that I am in now, that ain't for you. It ain't for me. That's perfectly and fine. I will say too, all you gotta do, look at me. All you got to do is write you a good business plan and get you a little loan to get you the funding to do this. Cause mm -hmm. I would have to find a way out. Why did you feel? Why did? Why the hell did you feel the need to even throw that in at the end? Like you see how petty she is. I'm like, so you're not gonna be judgmental about the fact that your friend scammed to support her passion, but the fact that he's actually doing it the legal and right way. And doing it on his own volition, his own money, instead of putting his getting a loan and putting himself in debt, like a woman typically does, because y'all own more debt than men, you got a problem with it. Simply because you don't want to work a nine to five. But this is the same chick who just said she wants a man to be home all day while she's out working all the time. You see the contradictions and the hypocrisy. This is this is the type of shit I be trying to point out. This is why women. This is why modern women are single. They're literally trying to do everything. All this unnecessary stress y'all try to put on y'all sales and relationships for what? Why? Just so y'all can flex for the gram, for social media. But when, when it comes to the West, bro, like, it's over, Joe. It's over, G. Like, for real. Bro. Fo focus on getting y'all bag up, bro. For real. Put yourself in a position of where you ain't got to deal with females like, the like these two. Because I'm telling you right now, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't sweet. I'm going to go ahead and end this here, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think about these chicks, man. It ain't looking too... It ain't looking like it's going. It's getting any better, man. E e even even with the pass and the uh, KS, bro. <sighs> if you're new to the platform, 
please subscribe like the video hit the notification bell all my old g's i appreciate the love and support i'm out of here y'all to the next video deuces